On your screen is 14 years old Shadine Winter. She was last seen on August 4th on a minibus heading towards Montego Bay to visit her father. Shadine, however, have a permanent speech impediment as she can only communicate through sign language. So if seen, please call the Lucy Police Station at 876-956-2333. Also on your screen is 14 years old Anastasia Kisson. She was last seen on August 10th at the Port Henderson Beach in Portmore, St. Catherine. She was last seen wearing a blue jeans dress. So if seen, please call the Hunts Bay Police at 876-923-7110. Jamaica, let us keep the same energy and bring these young ones home to safety. Yeah, man. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and write. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Tuesday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, Jamaica, continue on that trajectory of loss of life. Yeah, man, may I tell you, we are spiral downwards as loss of life increase. So as a country, we definitely failing the people of Jamaica because the amount of people we are lose them three pints right now. It seems as if the funeral parlor business are the only business that will continue to boom in our dearly beloved island home, Jamaica. As Jamaica has recorded a staggering 938 loss of life since the start of this year, up to August 14, so that is up to Sunday, basically 938 Jamaicans lay lifeless courtesy of the old dirty kind of boy them. Yeah man, I don't know about Uno in my peeps, but this is definitely worrying because last year figures were staggering, but this year definitely have a marginal increase, so it just may be a little above are basically the same as last year so that is definitely a worrying trend for on the spot news media so we're gonna kick it off this morning over there in our troubled and crime riddled second capital city where i talk about montego bay with them say no fear them no day paying particular attention to the glendevan community bottom pen to be specific Bottom Pen has produced one of our most famous and successful artists that goes by the name of TJ, who is said to be closely related to the family of which I will be speaking about. We are talking about the infamous Christie family and why I use the word infamous to describe that family. That family has a long history of crime and violence and infested with criminal elements that some of them has come up against the country's national security forces which was take note others were take note by rival gangs not saying that all members from the christie family is bad you know because the christie family as high have known and studied over the years has produced some really decent law-abiding citizens. But notwithstanding, you have some bad eggs in the Christie family, boy, I may tell you. It make that family bring down and go to shame. Yeah, man, may I talk about man like Anthony Bowler Christie, one of the most infamous and most feared and will always be remembered member of the Christie family, Anthony Bowler Christie. His life was taken by the security forces back in 2010, which of course the security forces came out the victors. But before Anthony Bowler Christie lost his life, 
Some of his other family members lost their lives simply because of close relation and or they were a part of the criminal organization led by him. At the time of his last life, he was the leader of the infamous Piranha Gang. Yeah man, may I tell you. So for those who don't know the Piranha Gang, you know. The piranha is a fish, you know, we just name up everything, you know, man. No farmer fish, no farmer sea creature, no safe when time a gang of piranha come round. And they named themselves and dubbed themselves in the Glendevan community as the piranhas. So you know, so them you the head sick, well crab up and thing. So just before Bowler was taken out by the country's security forces, he was wanted not only by the security forces, but also by rival factions. Yeah, man, may I tell you, Anthony Bowler Christie had enemies all over. Now his uncle, that goes by the name of Richard Scarry Christie, the man them slap him with Billy as me I tell him man, right out of Albion Main Road this so Miggle Day, broad daylight, we are talking about 11.30 a.m. in the morning. Low knockies and clappies, well arms up with them tall up, tall up. Go rifle him down right at the car wash this so Albion. Him try to run to save him life, but the man them run him down and bebel up can in his skin. Yeah man, definitely sending a serious message message to him and basically you know just weeks before that you know them slap with another nephew of that uncle too so you can definitely see say boy yo the christie family was under serious attack not just from the country's security forces but also from rivals and in the same month of october in 2008 a auntie of the christie family also get her head splat out but we are talking about in the night now five man well arms up me i tell you high powered rifles and all sort of thing the man them go visit her at home kick in her door and just start bebel her multiple can up can up she get all over her body the deceased was identified as Anne Marie Christie, an aunt that was employed to the municipal police in Montego Bay, an aunt of the infamous Anthony Bolo Christie. Now, just in this year, 2022, another of the Christie family, him this writer saw so on the screen, was taken out downtown, right side of the island grill. There's so something I tell you, no man, brawling Miggle Day. The man then fling him down right in front of the car. Yeah, man, may I tell you. But this one here was definitely also a feared gangster that goes by the name of Miguel Robbers Christie. Yeah, man, real old knackies and clappies in the street. Many would want to dispute the fact that Miguel was a old dirty kind of boy, but on the spot news media can categorically state this that Miguel was a real old dirty kind of boy in the street. Real old knackies and clappies and a really feared gangster of the Christie family. Yeah, man. But who want to say otherwise? Free to say otherwise because, of course, you don't know you got always have the naysayers out there in the streets. Miguel Robbers Christie was, however, taken out by his arch rivals from the Salt Spring community. Them say Salt Spring rise the tall thing. Yeah, man, may I tell you. So that is exactly what they did. Them rise the tall thing and slap where Robbers right to Island Grill, smack in the middle of Montego Bay on January 29th, 2022. Now the Christie family was sent back in mourning as now they have to plan another funeral for another member of their family. Yeah man, we are talking about this brother right now. Pine your screen, picture courtesy of It's a Blast. Michael Christie, otherwise known as Maestro Dan. Place emphasis on the word Dan. Yeah, man, may I tell you. So he was taken out by arch rivals, I guess, down there in their own community of Bottom Pen, Glendevan. The man them rifle him up, man, may I tell you, the man them deal with him. Billy as in the street, spread him out like a sheet, no longer amongst the land of the living. So on the spot news media, definitely not get all of the information surrounding 
his knockings and clappings. But one thing's for sure, he was a member of the criminal underworld. He was a member of the infamous Christie family and he found himself foul and the man them definitely take advantage of it and make sure say them send him away quick and fast down a Shotai country land, never to return to the land of the living. So one more Christie family gone and the Spot News Media will definitely be keeping close tabs on this and most definitely keep you informed the regular members of John Public and also members of the diaspora as information unfolds surrounding the latter life of another Christie family, Michael Christie, otherwise known as Maestro Dan. So for those other male relatives from the Christie family, look right where I go on in front of you. Look at the others that has passed. Leave the badness thing alone. Because every single member of the Christie family that has rose to prominence in the likes of the criminal underworld has gotten taken out either by the security forces or by rival factions. So on the spot news media is definitely advising the male figures in the Christie family for low the badness business alone. There is many that has taken the right path, chosen the right path, or tried the right road, follow in those footsteps because criminal underworld and the Christie family not belonging in the same sentence. Because every time them try to put the two of them together, it always end in misery. Yeah man, the family members have casket for buy, funeral for plan, and black dress and black suit for wear. Yeah man, may I tell you. So the word Dutty Kana boy and the name Christy definitely no work out in the same sentence because as you can see, every time you put them together, chaos and anarchy, weeping and moaning. So me always tell you, you know, a word to the wise is definitely sufficient. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On the spot, news media. Yeah, man.